There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Welcome everybody to today's Insider Monthly Call for Flash. Uh, my name is Dominic and I will take you through the insights and what we learned and what we are doing for the last uh, year, year and a half. Uh, nothing special. Uh, right now I'm only running the Forex pairs, the major Forex pairs. Euro USD, USD CAT, uh, GBP USD, and NZD USD. So uh, I will show you the settings. There is like nothing a lot like to talk about because we didn't change anything like now for a few months already, few months, few years. Uh, so as you can see, I'm running Euro USD, I'm running USD CAT, I'm running NZD USD and GBP USD on this account. I have the exact same settings that uh, we are running on a live account that already did 400%. So it's the exact same settings that you can see on this account. Uh, right now, this account is growing like around 6.82% per month. Uh, this month, it did 1.21%. So it's a slower month for uh, Flash, uh, but you can see it's averaging around 6 to 5% a month. So. Uh, what are the settings that we are running on this account? I will share them also with you. Uh, here I will open it up. So as you can see, uh, we are running uh, 0 0.01. So one thing with uh, Flash, it's really important that you guys understand and that you guys also know. Uh, it is the way how you calculate like what is going to be your uh, starting lot size. So if you want to start zero point, if you want to start with zero point zero one oh my god sorry if you have let's say oh, what is going on if you have zero point zero zero one okay zero point zero one why does this not work right now zero point zero one uh, okay if you have this on your trading account so if your trading account it's only thousand dollars okay you can only trade one pair one pair if your account it's two thousand dollars you can trade two pairs two pairs with zero point with zero point zero one that's really important with flash that you understand if you have three thousand dollars you can trade three pairs three pairs with zero point zero one uh per thousand on each pair thousand uh 0 0.01 and you have four thousand you can trade four pairs okay four pairs so what it's one important thing if you have two thousand dollars and you trade four pairs at the same time this is aggressive settings okay i will tell you you can trade them but me personally i wouldn't trade it like if i would have like four thousand dollars i would trade four pairs with 0 0.01 okay and i'll also show you now the settings uh, that we have on this account so you will understand so first of all you trade euro usd usd cat gbp usd and nzd usd these are the pairs that we are trading so the lot size is 0 0.01 take profit cash amount it doesn't matter you can put thousand you can put ten thousand whatever number you want to put in because uh that with these settings you will never hit your take uh profit cash amount okay so the next thing what we have is the trailing stop loss so the trailing stop loss here it's set to true 
and then we have cache trail start it's set to seven and cache trail buffer is set to three so that means once on a pair this is per pair okay uh once the pair it's seven dollars in profit you can see here when it's seven dollars in profit then it will start trailing and it will trail with three dollars so that means if seven dollars altogether if the market turns against you you will get out in net profit of three dollars so if you would trade here 0 0.02 you would raise this to 14 you would raise this to six if you would uh have here 0 0.03 you will have here 21 you will have here nine so you always multiply okay max trades open per pair it's 10 max trades per pips it's 220 personally i'm more like at here 2 and 30 okay drawdown limit cash amount you have to set it here like what are you willing to risk per pair okay so if you have like a thousand dollars on it like i would say like mm, around like let's say 500 500 dollars i would put like here 500 dollars uh, then expire pending time it's 90 minutes this is like how long the uh trades the uh set the limits stay on your chart uh then you have overbought it's at 90 oversold it's at 10 uh we trade uh tuesday trade on monday it's true on tuesday also we trade on tuesday we will trade on wednesday we trade on thursday if there is no trades on friday i have it set here to false i don't like to trade on friday so i just have it set to false but if their trades open uh it will manage and it will trade until all the trades are closed uh monday start time i have it set at two in the morning and then it's uh ends trading at 22 uh, that's 10 p.m european time uh tuesday we have like 2 22 uh 2 22 so we have like the every single day we have like the completely same settings uh and this is like the settings for every single pair euro usd i'm gonna put it here so you guys know it's the same settings for euro usd same settings for usd cat same settings for uh, nzd usd and also the same settings for gbp usd okay uh these are the same settings for every single pair now uh, one important thing also here with flash is that we always trade on uh h1 as you can see here we are always trading with h1 so this is the uh this is the time frame that we trade with flash on h1 and as i said we trade euro usd usd cat nzd usd and gbp usd these are the trades uh pairs that we trade uh, for now i'm not trading gold because like gold it's uh way too volatile at the moment i didn't like the movement so i passed uh gold so i'm not trading it at the moment so i'm just trading uh the forex pairs uh if there's like any questions guys uh, put them into the chat uh if there is like no questions uh then we will see you uh in a month so the next call the insider call for flash is gonna be let me check uh when it when is it uh, this is may may okay the next insider call is gonna be on june 3rd uh that's the first monday of uh the month so uh 3rd of june is the next insider call for flash uh also i would like to invite all of you uh in this opportunity we have a uh big event coming up in zagreb 18th of may uh so i'm gonna be there uh bill win uh the owner of the company also tyler mccackney is gonna be there so you should come definitely come <clears throat> you can buy already buy uh, tickets on the website ap website and yeah we will see you there and we can talk more into depth but everybody thank you for being on the call everybody that watched the replay if you need us we are always uh, available through support.avoriaprime.com where you can uh, message our support thank you and talk to you soon bye bye Thank you.